Welcome to CET Colors instructional web series on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to show you how to clean and or replace the raster strip. Gather your materials. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a safety pin or a pointed screw, isopropyl alcohol, a lint-free cloth, and the replacement raster strip. We will first need to remove the right hand and left hand raster strip guardrails. We will now remove the left hand raster strip guardrail. Go to the CET controller and go to the testing and calibration page and click on the vertical up arrow to a height of one inch. Press the right arrow four times to move the carriage over the bed and beyond the joint in the raster strip guardrail. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the mounting screws from the raster strip guardrail. Carefully remove the raster strip guardrail and set aside. Return to the CET controller and use the left arrow to return the carriage back to the home position. Using the vertical down arrow, return the carriage to its original height. In order to remove the right hand raster strip guardrail, use your Phillips head screwdriver and locate the Phillips head screws which mount the raster strip guardrail and remove them. At this point, move the carriage two clicks to the right using the right hand control arrow. To ease the removal of the raster strip, remove the raster reader bracket with the raster reader still attached. Refer to our instructional video on replacing and or adjusting the raster reader. Observe the left hand mounting position where you will see a mounting bracket a spring, and a raster strip clasp. Now remove the other bracket using your Phillips head screwdriver. Hold the spring with your left hand and the clasp with your right hand and disconnect the clasp from the hook on the spring. While still holding the raster strip clasp, remove the spring from the mounting bracket and set aside in a safe place for later use. Go to the back of the printer and carefully thread the raster strip and clasp behind the carriage. Once the raster strip has been threaded behind the carriage, Lift the rest of the raster strip out of the mounting guides and set on the printer. Now remove the other bracket using your Phillips head screwdriver so that the entire raster strip has been removed. Remove each of the end brackets attached to the old raster strip using your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Attach the end brackets to the new raster strip. Carefully fold the raster strip over the mounting bracket and determine the location for the screw holes. Once you have determined the location of the screw holes, use your safety pin or pointed screw and start the holes. Now that you have started the holes, secure the raster strip to the raster strip mounting bracket with the allen screws using your 2.5 millimeter allen wrench prior to reattaching the far ends of the raster strip bracket reattach the raster strip clasp to its bracket using the spring that we had set aside for safekeeping Thread the raster strip behind the carriage and place into the mounting guides.
Observe and measure the orientation of the raster strip to the right hand mounting bracket that does not have a spring. Once you have placed the raster strip into the mounting guides, you will need to carefully attach the raster strip to the right hand raster strip mounting bracket. The raster strip mounting bracket has slotted screw holes so that fine tune adjustment can be made in order to ensure the raster strip is taut but not too tight. At this point, your raster strip is connected to both the right hand and left hand sides as well as inserted into the mounting guides. In order to clean the raster strip, use a lint-free cloth and some isopropyl alcohol and wipe down the strip. Mount the bracket to the carriage with your Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure that the raster reader straddles the raster strip but does not touch the top of the raster strip. Adjust as needed so that the raster reader is mounted properly. Replace the right hand raster strip guardrail with your Phillips head screwdriver. In order to replace the left hand raster strip guardrail, you will need to go to the CET controller and move the carriage two more clicks to the right using the right hand control arrow. Replace the raster strip guardrail and then return to the CET controller and return the carriage to the home position.
and that's how to properly clean and or replace the raster strip on a CET color large format digital UV printer.